The following video contains material owned and created by Katakawa Corporation. Before you watch this video, please support the official release. The link is in the description down below. Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction slash review for episode one of No Game, No Life. It's an anime that was animated by Mad Madhouse Studio and it's beautiful. I don't know how else to say it. It's a beautiful looking anime. It's incredibly colorful. It's got some pretty light-hearted moments in it. But without spoiling anything, go ahead and get it underway. In three, two, one, go. So right off the bat, it starts out with what appears to be I don't believe this. chat room comments. Yeah, you can see the Madhouse Studio in this one. How well it looks. Absolutely beautiful. Four on one, lady. Really well animated. Okay. Instantly get your mana back. You're mine. Like, I'm not entirely sure what she was shooting at, but there was no one there when that thing exploded. Absolutely wrecked. An urban legend, but I assure you it's a good one. There exists a band of anonymous players, gamers who obliterate anyone who comes to face them, reaching scores never achieved before or since in every game they play, their win records are flawless. Since their usernames are always left empty, they are simply known to people as blank. And blank. according to every player who has encountered them, they are indeed unbeatable. Cheaters, you think that's how they keep winning? Yeah. Sure of it. It's got to be just a lousy group of hackers. Come on. Right. No way they could be 12. Because nobody's that good. Auto aimers and wall hacks. Hitbox manipulation. I don't know. I remember getting totally decimated in a shooter game by a friend of mine who was retarded good. Like he was so good at it, it looked like he was cheating. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Drucifer. Oh, Give a shout out to my boy, Drew. You know, urban Serving our country. Wish. Because in reality, the least interesting answer is usually the correct one. It's only two people. They were playing. They were boxing. Could you do me a favor and please stop controlling the main account for blank with your feet? Kinda nasty. Hunger. I'm still hungry. Once You're burning them serious calories, man. Sure, why not? Playing games can be pretty tiring. Really splurging on some fancy rations, huh, Shiro? Nutrition's important. Listen, the human brain can function as long as it has glucose. White bread is best in terms of cost performance. Yeah, thanks for the lecture. But I need other types of nutrients too, or I won't get any bigger. You're already a perfect, flawless beauty, you darling girl. Thanks. Hey, what time is it? Um, 
8 a.m. the middle of the night. What day? Does that even matter? <laughs> it does. It tells me when the MMORPGs are going to have new events. And what? Wait, I know you've been up for five days straight, but if you quit now, I won't have a healer. I know. <laughs> Four characters at one time? Just believe. Wait, no, please don't fall asleep. If you go to sleep, Shiro, everyone, and by everyone, I mean me, will die. Okay, fine. You're just going to have to grin and bear it. This world is chaotic, unfair, and unforgiving. It has no meaning or value. However, some people simply refuse to accept this, even though they know they can't change anything. They wish that the world could be just a little yeah, more interesting. Yeah, it's a bunch of robots. That's how urban legends are formed, from wishes like that. Okay, so let's get things started. Let's offer a subtle stylistic catalyst for a chance at a new beginning. Let's ask the question, have you heard the latest rumor? Listen, your brother's been playing four characters on four separate screens. I don't know what you want, but I'm seriously about to drop dead here. It might be from a friend. Eat some more of that white bread. Whose friend? Your friend? <laughs> That's weird. I thought I heard my sister say something really mean and sarcastic to me. Hmm. What is this? Have you two siblings ever felt... This board. What should we do? Is he trying to cut a deal with us? Well, it might be fun to see where this goes. Huh? Chess? Well, good night. <laughs> wait, wait, don't fall asleep yet. I can't handle a high level chess simulation on my own. Chess is a finite, two-player, zero-sum, perfect information game. Luck plays no part in it. Theoretically, to each game, there is a perfect solution that will never fail. Of course, that's only if you have a mind capable of calculating the 10 to the power of 120 possible states of the board. I don't even know if that's physically possible. Chess is no different. That number is huge. program designed to defeat grandmasters 20 times in a row alternating between going first and second oh, they did a castle there oh. it cut off its own pieces advance hold on oh. shiro what a program will always select the best strategy you can win because they're predictable but this one's deliberately using a bad move to lure you in it's a human don't worry, if it's a well, skill, you got this in the bag. I'll tell you when they're up to something. It's not a computer playing you. Sora and Shiro form two halves of a whole. Now let's see if there's somebody who's got the balls to beat us. Hmm. You are a winner. You got another email. Excellent work. What the hell? Think of your world. What do you mean, is it fun? In this game, there's no way to know the rules or how to win. Yet there are seven billion players all making whatever moves they want. If you lose too much or win too much, there are penalties. Damn, pretty much everybody's playing a different game depending on There's no parameters or freaking values and whatnot. You know what you call that? You call it a crappy game. Right? <laughs> uh, believe me, if there's a world like that, then the two of us, well, we were born in the wrong one for sure. Huh? What the? Sora? 
Suddenly you get all digitally. Suddenly we're falling! This is the ideal world you've always dreamed of. The world of games. It's this board. You see, everything in this world is decided by a simple game. Government, politics, even the lives of its people. Who are you? Me? They call me Tet. I live over here. I'm a god. A god? You're so short. You've got the top! <laughs> <laughs> well, the good brother tried to protect her by shielding it with his own body. Luckily for them, Tet was there. Was that disappeary voice? I'd say they're handling it pretty well. Or... Maybe not. You know what, sis? They're still handling it really well. I guess that's what happens when you judge it just on face value before you actually get into it. Never-ending war for the right to rule this world. They fought for the right to become the one true god. Eventually, it became clear there would be no real victor, as the sky, the sea, the land, and the stars were all destroyed in the devastating battles. However, hidden amongst the wreckage, a single deity had survived. Although he never participated in the conflict, the title became his. His name was Tet, and he was known as the God of Play. You creatures who have fought with violence... They just let everybody destroy themselves. ...that rises to the sky, and you still call yourselves wise? Tell me this. What makes you different from wild animals? In the face of their shattered world, excuses were meaningless. And God spoke, Thou shalt not kill one another. Murder and thievery in this realm is henceforth forbidden. You sixteen races, full of greed and hubris, I command you to use your ingenuity and wit, your great fortunes and power, to build me a tower of knowledge and to prove to me... Your strength of mind. Okay, I think I get it. So everything in this world is decided by games because the god of play is in charge? That's right. And by the way... Hmm? What now? Do you suppose you could find it in your heart to at least leave us a pair of pants? Correct. Uh, any bets made in accordance with the pledges must be upheld. So we bet everything we could offer, including our lives, and you and... So they turn out to be... Some of the best gamers from our world. Go to a world where gaming is, like, woven into the fabric of their reality. Seems like even bandits can't rob or kill you. That's pretty convenient. Meh, I bet they couldn't even if they tried. 
<laughs> I don't know. He seems to be able to just outsmart people. Elkia Kingdom, capital city of Elkia. Yeah, everything is decided by games. Granddaughter of the former king. But because of his will, she can't inherit the throne. So she's entered the gambling tournament as well. Hmm? Hey, Shiro. Are you, uh, doing okay? I'm fine. I think she's awfully tired. What's the matter? Got a crush? Yeah, right. I was just wondering if you were going to enter this thing. Who? Me? Oh, no. This is all I need right here, kiddo. And... Besides, Kurumi over there is so strong that most of the other players have already pulled out before they had the chance to lose. In other words, you're too scared to enter. What do you say? So, say what now? You don't actually lose to her. You can go home and tell all your friends whatever you want. Am I right? Oh, I won because she was so pathetic. I let her go. <laughs> well, aren't you something? So let's play, little boy. Sorry, but I don't play for fun. You got to put something on the line. Like that bag of cash. What? Do you know how much is in here? The deal is that we have to bet something of equal value, or it isn't official. Pledge three, right? I suppose that's fair. Mm. How's this? You can do whatever you want with the two of us. Our lives are yours. Uh, Sell us, leave us to die. Your choice. Uh, seriously? Why not? Well, uh, we'll play a single hand of poker. Uh, what do you say? So their lives versus your bag of gold? Your way. I swear by the pledges. I swear by the pledges. Ashente! <laughs> Just a stupid redneck kid with more confidence than experience. I don't know about that. that might work on the backwards dolts in your village. But not here. Into some bad luck, poor baby. Yeah, I started the day with a 10,000 meter skydive, then walked forever under the blazing sun through some screwed up wilderness. Definitely a bad day. You did what now? Just <laughs> you ready. You did what now? Ready and waiting. How about you? Perhaps you'd like to draw cards again. No, thanks. We're cool. Oh, in that case, too bad, kiddo. Oh, you're right. That is too bad. Huh? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, wait. That's more than one in six million odds! Yep, and you just got really unlucky. Uh, but how? Pledge six. All bets must be upheld, am I right? So pay up. Because he's a total badass, that's how. Who are you, people? Nobody special, just... a new player in town. Sora, that was me. Could have at least tried to hide you were cheating. Well, let's review pledge number eight, shall we? Being caught cheating during a game means an instant loss. In other words, if you're not caught, it's fine. Yep. How much is in there? No clue. Well, just leave it to me. Big bro is an expert at negotiations. I'll take a room. One bed will be just fine. How many nights would this get me? Just one night. <laughs> I'm really tired. Come on, dude. You gonna tell me how many nights I can really stay here? If you're trying to cheat someone, you should pay more attention to your tone and where you're looking at them. Sorry, two nights though. Man, you really are not good at this. Listen, Pierre, if you're gonna lie, you better be careful who you do it to. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, four nights, awesome. <laughs> hey, kid, 
What's your name? Me? Just yeah. <laughs> Just leave it blank. Sorry for the wait, Shiro. That girl's about to lose it. Uh oh. Doesn't look like anyone taught her what poker face means. Unlike her opponent. Hmm, she's cheating. Think so. Yeah. But how? It doesn't make sense. Now wait a minute. Something else is going on here. <laughs> Seriously? You can fold whenever you want. Would you please shut up already? Just be quiet and focus on your own cards, all right? Uh... Oh, finally! Uh... Listen, that girl is cheating. Yeah. Are still playing or what? Huh? Oh, uh, yes, of course I am. Smartphones, DSPs, tablet PCs. Good old DSP. I got the battery and the solar charger, cables and everything. Is this it? Wow. They're super prepared for suddenly being teleported here. Well, I guess it teleported the entire room, so everything that was in their room fell out of the sky. Characters end up in another world. They try their best to find a way home, right? But why would they want to go back to a world if it's total shit? Right. I don't know. If you ended up teleported to a place, it was better. <laughs> Maybe the other characters always end up in a place that's worse. Hey, hey, madhouse. Well, then it's set. <laughs> Let the real game begin. Ah, uh, this is a great anime. I like it. I like it a lot. Pretty sure there's something after the credits. I'm watching the English dub. If you guys would prefer, I watch the subtitle. Just somebody mentioned it down in the comments which one they prefer. Yeah, check the description below so you can watch this on your own, so you can support the actual creators. I also have information in the description to support me and my channel. Check out my Patreon page, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter as well. So a naked girl shows up outside his door. Okay. If I came in for a second, do I get a sweet bouquet? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, right? Booby grab. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next episode.